Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have done this on a uh, week that the yard was mowed, but um, did the last of my harvesting, well, some of the last of my harvesting. Some of the kohlrabi got a little oversized. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be good in soup. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of this, the greens will probably still be pretty good, um, especially on the smaller ones there. Got the last of the yellow squash. I found a cucumber. There were actually two cucumbers, but that one's actually like a real we can eat it cucumber. I knew I had carrots left. I don't know that I realized I had this many carrots left. This is my shadow. Sorry, I get out of the way here. So many carrots left. Very exciting. Um, I still have some carrots left in the bed, but those will go to seed. So I have the flowers there. I'm not entirely certain how far they go before you harvest the seed. I'm gonna have to look that up, but they're really pretty, like Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot. So there's that. The leeks are doing very well. And then over there, are the, the second run of potatoes and the kohlrabi that's in the back. Um, the strawberries are a little bit overgrown. So still have some beans to harvest. You can get in the shadow here and look at the beans. So they're, I don't know, they might be a little too far gone to eat well. But again, they might be do, they might do well in sea, in soups and stews. And then these are just cauliflower greens. They didn't really produce cauliflower. Uh, one did, but not these. I don't think they will. I'll leave them alone a little longer, see what happens. Um, we will have to have a conversation with Mr. Spider there, or Miss Spider there, um, who is having a snack as we speak. Uh, and then we've got the Brussels sprouts galore. That I'm going to have to start taking. Got some chard left. I'm going to replant some chard. Got some kale that looks like it's been chewed up. But other than that, some empty, empty beds.